In this After Effects video, we're gonna talk about how to create hand-drawn marker animations, whether that be arrows, circles, or any sort of animation that you're looking to create in the form of hand-drawn markers. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. We have a very short tutorial today, so please be sure to drop a like on this video and let's get started. All right, we have After Effects loaded up. We're gonna create some really awesome marker icons here. So we're gonna come here to our tutorial composition. The first thing we wanna do is come in here to Window Brushes and go back to Window and select on Paint. We gotta have both of these panels ready to go. So after these panels up, we'll go to Layer New Solid. We'll call it Brush 1, click OK. Then we'll double click the solid layer that we just created. We'll come here to the top and grab the Brush Tool icon. And we'll come to our Brushes panel. We'll select just a hard point solid here. The diameter and all that you can change after the fact, but I want to set the spacing to 1% right away. And then we need to come here to our paint panel and under duration, we need to make sure that this is set to right on. So very roughly for your hand, you can draw out a circle or an oval kind of like this. So if we hit U on our keyboard, this will bring up the keyframes and we play forward through this. You'll actually see that this was recorded. The entire movement was recorded and it's already animated. So that's really cool. So what we want to do is maybe come here to the beginning of our timeline and just move this brush layer over to the beginning and I want to select both keyframes hit F9 to make them easy ease go to our graph editor and quickly bring in the keyframe handles here to the center and it'll give it more of a natural hand-drawn animation to it so then what we can do is come here to effect controls and check on paint on transparent and go back to our composition and you'll see that our brush layer is over our title we can hit S on keyboard for scale we can scale this up if we wish to do that we can also just move this layer around to perfectly place it where we see fit if you're looking for some other options, you can open up the brush layer, go into the effects, open up paint, then go into brush one, and then go into the stroke options. And you're gonna have a lot of different settings here. So you can change the diameter, which is the size of the marker. You can adjust the roundness, the hardness, and there's a handful of other settings that you can adjust. All right, so let's say we wanna create a marker. Well, it's all the same thing. We'll go ahead and create ourselves another solid. We'll grab our brush tool, double click. So to draw our arrow, it's a little bit more difficult than a circle, but we draw a straight line and just create our arrow like this. Now you may need to undo it, just control Z, just give it another go. And you can keep doing it until you get the arrow that you like. All right, and I'm very happy with this one, but of course by editing the keyframes, you're gonna go ahead and make this a lot smoother than what you just saw. So we'll go ahead and just smooth these out with bringing in those handles. And you know, that's a little bit more smooth. You can of course continue to redo the animation until you get it exactly right. And of course you can scale it down and reposition it within your work to make it fit exactly what you like. So you can go ahead and add a several different lines and duplicate them around your work, do whatever you wish to do. But one thing I wanna teach you here is how to make these lines a little bit more jumpy, give it a little bit of animation style to it other than just being still by default. So what we need to do is take one of these brush layers, hit P on keyboard for position, Alt click the stopwatch, and we'll type in F equals two and then a equals 30 okay and these would be our default numbers then what we can do is type in uh posterize time so just right here and we'll put the letter f in there and then we'll hit the uh, semicolon this will be the end of the code then we'll enter again and we'll type in wiggle open parenthesis f comma a and then add the semicolon to the end of this line and years after high school we can see that algebra is finally paying off so with all your hand-drawn elements, you can have something looking like this. I added a grunge type background from a background pro pack. If you download the project files from this tutorial, I'll actually give away a couple of these for free that you can import into your project. And to close out our video, if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, we have over 15,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check our links in the description below to take a look at all the template packs that we have. And of course, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs as well. Those links are in the description below. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week and always be creative.